Good morning, YouTube. It's a Sunday morning. I had a package arrive in the post yesterday. Uh, my lathe isn't quite back together yet, but couldn't help myself. ER32 collet chuck on a 80mm back plate. Not 100% sure uh, what the quality will be until I start going into it, but um, yeah cheap as chips I think it was 17 pound something I mean you can't argue with that obviously I'll have to make a back plate but I'm looking forward to doing that uh, yeah obviously the collets and that are extra but uh, I wanted one for a while and uh, obviously the beauty is you can concentrically hold round parts and this has got a, not all of them have the through hole, this one has, so parts will go straight through the headstock. Um, yeah, another little tasty uh, add on, hopefully that will get done. And then, also, so I've got the four drawer on. Taking mill cut or mill deep cuts with it, so that's two mil off the overall diameter inside. And uh, she's she's mint. Um, it's the bestest cut for ever since I've had it. And uh, I'm you know I'm, I'm asking a fair bit of it. I'm swinging a fair weight because that forward will weigh a fair bit. So I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I'm almost on size. So, uh, yeah, uh, take my next cut and uh, be ready for the next stop. I'll just uh, So, Operation Bodger Holder is on the second iteration now, and this seems to be working. It is literally a bit of bar with some high speed ground and grub screwed into it, welded to a bush thing that I had with a grinder. Um, nut as a spacer 
um, and it seems to be working. Total Heath Robinson going on here, and uh, yeah, I'll put a cut on. It's working well. The other one had far too much flex. Um, I'm just taking 0.2 each side at the minute, and uh, yeah, at the moment it's going well. sorts of ways to screw cut and if you're scared about doing it the simplest way is do not disengage your half nuts never just back it off and reverse it out it's all you need to do you can get fancier and I've got a thread and dial um, but it didn't turn up in the post until well I don't know when it turned up well it turned up a while ago but I'd already got this job in the chuck and I didn't want to uh, remove it. To, I need to make up a spigot for it to pivot on. Um, well, I just took my final cut and I'll give it a face and put a small chamfer here and uh, I'm going to knock the chuck off and spin it round and try and fit it. Um, I've gone to depth on the measurement, what you get in your Zeus book for a 8 TPI thread. So we shall see. See, she's threaded. <sighs> so she's gone over the lip but there is a small gap just there bit of focus mm, no it seems to be focused over on the voice for a bit come on focus over here look yeah anyway there's a gap here so I'm gonna just deepen that board out a bit because I want it to there goes my arm key I want it to back up against here and lock there because your threads don't hold it concentric. It is absolutely pucker on that turned shoulder and then it locks up against the back of the spindle. So we'll deepen that. Hopefully that was enough. 
We want a lot. Right. We'll spin it round again. Well, that fits absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. So, Right, so I've just turned a small register 